Amber House is a 17-bed transition house. My work at the Prince Georgian District Elizabeth Fry Society is I manage the community social and justice programs and the work that we do at Amber House is the Transition House is a safe place for women and children who are either in or leaving an abusive relationship. We get individuals coming in from BC, from Alberta, um, even back east and, and also from outlying communities as well. When you're looking at relocation, you've got to ensure that there's safety plans in place when a person is coming from one point A to point C. Part of the safety plan is being able to connect along the way. Anybody coming across the Highway of Tears, the corridor, and if they don't have connectivity, if they don't have cell phones, they're unable to do that. The safety plan is breaking down. So you don't know, are you calling the RCMP at that point? Or aren't you? You don't know. The partnership with Rogers and access to cell phones and further connectivity for our clients, our women and children, it's so appreciated, it's so vital, it's so important. Having cell phones that are available with plans to be able to provide to our women and children, we have the utmost gratitude and appreciation for that. And that passes on to the women because it's, you know, somebody believes in us, somebody understands the safety that we need and there's support resources for that because that phone, to one person, yeah, it might be a toy and it's a social media. For others, it's a lifeline to their safety. Looking at the connectivity for cell service in the Highway of Tears corridor, what, what I see is hope. Hope for those individuals living, working, walking, hitchhiking along that corridor knowing that they are, would be able to have cell phone access. They would have individual safe people, safe resources that they could call and they could access. They're not on their own. And hope, hope is huge. It really is.